this neighbor dispute is being investigated and monitored by Trenton police. And I must tell you that neighbor disputes, by and large, are, well, they come in all shapes and sizes, but this is one you have to see to believe. Her family says seven-year-old Kathleen Edward is in the final stages of a degenerative brain disorder diagnosed as Huntington's disease, the same disease which killed Kathleen's mom, Laura, when she was only 24. This is Laura's picture shown here in the arms of the Grim Reaper. Her family's offended. They found the picture on this neighbor's personal Facebook page. The neighbor admitted to me, yeah, I posted that on Facebook, and she says she also posted a picture of seven-year-old Kathleen with a skull and crossbones. What do you accomplish with the deceased mother, with the Grim Reaper, and the and the daughter fighting an illness personal with the skull and crossbones? What, what it is it? Personal satisfaction because it rubs their off. Burns their because it burns Rebecca Rose's raw for me to make fun of her dead daughter on that page. That sounds sick. Take it or leave it. This neighbor dispute features a hearse hauling a coffin. Kathleen's family and neighbors say it's been used to harass Kathleen and her mom before her death. Drove it down there in front of her husband's house, opens a casket, guns the engine. They don't care about anybody. They're, I've never met people that had no heart. She told me that she was a devil. She has no sympathy and no empathy for anyone. But the truck's owners deny harassing anyone. They say it's all part of a Halloween display. So your message with the hearse is it's, it's Halloween. Not a hearse. It's a pickup truck with a frickin' with a coffin in the back. Yeah. Okay. No, just... Hello, staying with the theme. Hello. Okay. Police responded to the neighborhood dispute while we were here. They've been here before. The family that's frightened has taken out a personal protection order. How is it threatening when they're all parading around here now and you have PPOs against me and my How wife? How is threatening? Okay. How is that threatening? If you... It's Halloween, people. We're gonna decorate. And Kathleen Edward, the seven-year-old, her family says is in the final stages of Huntington's disease, a deadly disease that eats away at her brain. There'll be a benefit later this month at Haas Park here in Trenton. If you'd like information, you can log on to MyFoxDetroit.com and get the very latest. We're in Trenton Live. Ron Savage for The Edge. Monica? Ron, your heart goes out to that little girl and her family. Did those officers that showed up at that house, did they say whether anyone there will, will face charges for what's happening? There were no arrests tonight, Monica. However, of course, PPOs have been established, personal protection orders, and anyone who violates them could be subject to a charge. It's such a disturbing story. All right. Thank you, Ron.